40 kilometers southwest of Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, is the site we chose to work on for our SUNY Course 5 final project. The project mainly focuses on creating awareness to conserve Managisha forest. The project leaders Balaina, Lamlam, Elias, and Rosling all work at International Community School of Addis Ababa, and the grade level chosen for the project is grade 11. Their environmental systems and societies teacher who is also the project leader and a key role player in the whole student involvement is Mr. David White. On day one, students were briefed on the project and told to brainstorm on the idea. The product goals Guiding questions, schedule, and assessment were also discussed. Students' expectation included doing a research on Managasha forest and locating three websites related to specific old growth forest conservation. They were also expected to read the IB text, Pearson, and do further reading on conservation. Day 2 was dedicated to web design planning. Guest lecturers were invited to class and introduced the software and its application. Afterwards, students engaged in drafting their website, having explained their reason for choice, strategy for creation and completion, and divided roles and responsibilities among group members. Students had a formal assessment on their web page on day 3. Days 4 and 5 were field trip days. Students went on a field trip to Managusha Forest. There, they commenced their field study. They interviewed experts and held a discussion with community members. They also obtained visual components and took time collecting data related to the field study.
On day 6 and 7, students were busy designing web which exhibits components created, site put together and tested lab reports of the field study. Students in their groups collaboratively participated in the website creation by writing and editing both visual and text. Day 9. This was the last day. Students presented their website to IB coordinators, curriculum department, teachers, and others. Giving it a final touch and final revision of website and testing and planning their presentation, day 8 was spent by preparing for the presentation. Someday we may have to tell our great-great-grandchildren that there once existed large animals called elephants, giraffes, and rhinoceros. This may sound a bit exaggerated when we say it now, but just like dinosaurs and rhinoceros that have existed once and gone extinct now, the same shall follow to the living creatures whose habitat we are destroying them today, unless we stop and think and teach and do all we can to save the jungle, the forest, the homes of these animals. This was the purpose of our project.